Are you, are you excited about uh, Sunday night, the first the first live show getting in there at 7pm on Channel 5? Do you know what, I'm really excited actually. Um, I think it's going to be a really kind of different talent show to what we've seen out on television programmes before. It's, it's about groups, it's about all singing, all dancing. Um, it's going to be uh, a really good family, feel good celebration of talent and I think that, um, I think, I think all of us are really excited today. All the judges, we've all had a big old... Uh, uh, chin wag over lunch and a few drinks and stuff and we're everyone's really excited there's a real nice buzz about it the production team's great um channel five team are fantastic and there just seems to be a really nice buzz about it it's like coming to work and everyone's happy so it's fingers crossed it's going to keep that niceness throughout the whole series i'm sure it will so it's a different vibe from the whole sort of x factor britain's got talent where you sort of we sort of take a little laugh at people i think this is different from x factor um we don't have to go through that whole um torturous audition process it's already been done they've seen 8,000 people 8,000 groups 160,000 people and they've whittled it down to 30 groups 30 of the best groups so it, we're going to be really excited to see each group each week uh, they're all going to be very different in size age uh, and what they're going to be bringing to the table so it's going to be quite exciting to see what the powers that be have selected for the 30 you've been a pop star and now a West End star um, do, you f do you feel that you've got a lot of expertise as this judge? Are you going to be quite critical if the acts, if they don't come up to scratch? Yeah, I think coming from a group myself, I'm going to be looking at obviously the interaction between each other, how they work together as a team, how they, how they are as a group, how they blend. Um, I'm also going to be looking at the fact that I've been a contestant in a reality TV show before, so I know what it's like to go out there on a live show, how nerve-wracking it is. So I'm going to be looking at that element because I can relate to them. Um, I'm also going to be looking at, as a performer, coming from a West End um, uh, actor on stage, so I'm going to be looking how they're going to be performing, interacting with one another and coping with their nerves and, and, and giving it 110% on the night, because then you get one chance to do it, there's no retakes, it's live, once it's done, it's done, and then their song goes straight to iTunes for the world to hear. How do you think Blue would have done if they'd have had to go on a show like this? Um, I don't think Blue would have actually been able to be a part of this show because the, the, you have to have a minimum of five people in a group. So there was only four of us. We'd have to have recruited somebody else, I think, to be with the chance of being on Don't Stop Believing. Um, would you have been in it with us? Yeah, I'd have joined you. I could have done a few moves. I could, I, I could have been the dancer in the group. Well, we never had a dancer in Blue, really. We're all shockingly bad at dancing, but um, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Um, what, what's the what's the future for Blue at the moment? Because obviously a lot, you never properly split up, but I mean people are obviously excited about hearing new material and things like that. Well, Blue's been apart now for for coming up to five years, which is quite scary. Which means that um, next year it's actually our tenth year anniversary of being in the business, and uh, we're going to be doing a new album next year um, with a new single, new album, and a tour uh, around Europe and Asia, which we're really excited about. And um, you know, get the stuff back out there again and, and give it another crack. So I'm really excited to, to get back in a group and, and be a part of Blue. Are you sort of excited about sort of the process of making music again? Because it must have been a while since you were sort of in a studio with the guys and recording stuff. Yeah, one of the best things about being in a band was the fact that we'd go to the studio together, write the tracks, produce the tracks with the producer and, and just really be involved with the whole creative process of, 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 the, uh, of the album making. And that's something that I've missed, that creative side. But we're really excited to get back together again and, um, and, and go on tour, because going on tour is like mad fun. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Um, and it's, uh, it's one of the best things about being in a band, I think, going on tour. Have you missed sort of, I'd imagine hanging around with Lee Ryan on tour is quite an, quite an experience. Have you missed that? Yeah, hanging around with Lee Ryan on tour is very much an experience. Um, last time around, I just remember actually stories that I'm not actually going to repeat on Digital Spy because it would shock many people or maybe not actually if Lee Ryan's been involved but um, yeah we had a lot of fun a lot of craziness um, and a lot of fire extinguishers would be let off for some unknown reason yeah yeah Lee would like running around squirting everyone on fire extinguishers uh, it actually happened one day in we were in Newcastle on tour Alan Shearer and all the football Newcastle football players and everybody was in the bar in the hotel Lee decided to run in with a fire extinguisher and soak everybody, including Alan Shearer. Uh, everybody had to take their drinks back to the bar because it's, it's like poisonous, the, the fire extinguisher solution. So yeah, uh, Lee, I remember the last thing I saw was like, what on earth is Lee doing? And uh, the security running after him down the corridor. Funnily enough, we were never told we could go back to that hotel again. I wonder why. Maybe he just wants to be a fireman. I think Lee had a, 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 like something like a six grand bar tab bill he had to pay for everyone's drinks. 
but um, you know what? We did have fun in blue, and it was it was it was a great laugh. And it'd be nice to come back and give it another shot. And I'm really excited to see what the what the future's going to hold. And can you see if the show's a, a big success? Could you see yourself coming back to do this like year on year and becoming like a regular fixture in your calendar? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, uh, right now we're just going to wait and see what this show does. I'm really excited about it. It's got a lot of. Um, it's got a lot of oomph behind it. It's got some great people attached to it, and, and Emma Bunton is hosting it, and it, she's going to be fantastic. And, and Channel Five are really going for it, which is which is brilliant to be a part of a show that's got such a great buzz and great momentum behind it. So fingers crossed. Watch this space.